doing here and where are we gonna go it's like we just woke up one morning hello welcome to my youtube channel the performance today i'll be reacting to an amazing compilation amazing performance amazing video this is actually an islam video and the title is the meaning of life muslim spoken words wow i'm not i'm not a muslim i'm a christian but i believe one thing that is peculiar to both christianity and islam is the message of love is the message of peace is the message of forgiveness so i see no reason why the christians should hate the muslim i see no reason why the muslims should hate the christians i believe we all have to learn to coexist we have to learn to love one another we all have to learn to learn from one another so we can make better decisions. So let's start with the video. The meaning of life. Official Muslim spoken words. What are we doing here? And where are we gonna go? It's like we just woke up one morning and then it's welcome to the show. Don't ask any questions, just go with the flow. Make as much money as you can and try your best not to get broke. Copy everything you see on the TV from the hairstyles to the clothes and don't think too often, just do exactly as you're told. And if you ever get confused, then just turn towards the alcohol. You'll still hear your thoughts. Then just turn up the radio as you learn to live a lifestyle of drugs, sex, and rock and roll. But in all honesty, I just need to know, is there more to the cycle than growing and getting old? Living and dying just to leave behind a happy home and a whole lot of property that somebody else is going to own. I just really need to know before the casket's closed Cause I'm not willing to gamble with my soul Nor am I ready to take any chances These are just simple life questions And I'm just searching for some answers Like what are we doing here? And what is our purpose? How did we get here? And who made us so perfect? And what happens once we go? Or is this world all really worth it? Questions we don't answer because apparently we don't really have to There's no purpose to this life and our existence is merely natural Then in that case, please let me ask you Did you create yourself or was it somebody else who had fashioned you? Cause you're a being that's impeccable, faultless and unparalleled You're a product of supreme intelligence and I'm merely being rational for there isn't a camera on this earth that can come close to the human eye Nor a computer that can compete alongside the human mind And if the whole world was to come together We wouldn't be able to create a single fly So many signs, yet we still deny A science tries to justify that all this could come from none When it's a simple sum Zero plus zero plus zero cannot possibly ever yeah. give you one so from where did all this order come? For everything has its origins, a maker, a creator of its own. I mean, the only reason you're watching this video is because somebody had to press upload. So we can believe in the Big Bang, but I'd rather believe in he who caused it to explode. Allah, the creator of everything along with every single soul. The ever living, the master, the only one who is in control Unlike his creation, beyond our imagination And no, he's not a man nor does he have any partners in association He's on his own And no, he did not ever leave us alone Just like every manufacturer, he left us with an instruction manual the Qur'an and Islam, and I'm sorry to jump to conclusions, but it's the only one possible. The only definition of God is the one and only supreme being, it's logical. A book with zero contradictions, with miracles that are both scientific and historical. All revealed over 1400 years ago. 
like the detailed description of the human embryo. The descriptions of the human embryo in the Quran cannot be based on scientific knowledge in the 7th century. To the mountains as pegs holding firm the earth below, and the two seas that don't mix in a complete separate flow. To the planets in orbit, alternating night and day as they stay in flow. The expansion of the universe and the creation of everything from H2O. To the stories of the past and the preservation of Pharaoh. To identifying the lowest point in the land where Persia defeated Rome. The gushing fluid that created man in the glands between the ribs and the backbone. And not a word has changed, it's still the same. So please explain how all this was known over 1400 years ago. To a man who couldn't read or write as he would recite whatever the angels spoke. And if you still don't believe, please try to come up with something that's even close. But you can't, so we took God as a mockery and his messengers as a joke. Muhammad could not read or write. How somebody who can't read or write gonna start a religion? Dismiss the scriptures as legends and tales of the ancient folk as we live life according to our whims, desires and hopes. Saying this life is the only home we will ever know We will live then die then simply turn to bones Yo, low Correction, after the grass dies the rain arrives and it regrows And Allah promises to do the same thing to your very soul And bring you back from your very fingertips to your toes As the all-seeing supreme being watches us so close and we are surely being tested in our wealth, our health, and our self, and everything that we've been blessed with. So believe, for we will surely be resurrected and be brought back to our Lord and account for every single deed as He hands us our books and orders us to read. From the bad to the good and everything in between. You yourself are sufficient for your own accountability. So don't be mad at me. You are the one who thought he wouldn't come back to me. I gave you a whole life long to search after me. But you were busy in all that which was temporary. So read. And glad tidings to all those who believed. And if you disbelieve, read. And don't let that day be the first day you find out what your life really means. Read. Wow, 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 wow. Believe me, this is really, really very educating. You know, I don't know how... People say, it, you know, a lot of people believe in science. They believe that there is no God. They believe that everything that comes into being is because of science. Everything that was discovered is because of science. But I believe, just like what I've seen in this video, there is more to life. And I believe for one, how can, how can we, how can someone start existing without, without being created? One thing we all have to look one thing we all have to, you know, try to understand is that before we come into existence, someone must have created us. And there is no other person apart from God. I believe both Islam and Christianity, they preach, they, they, they preach the same message, just, just a little different, just a little different, but the message are probably you know, a bit similar. And, you know, sometimes we are just in this world, but we all have to understand that this world is not our own. We all have to understand that there will come a time in the life of every believer, in the life of every individual, to give account on how he has lived his life. And we all have to also understand that there is a purpose to this life. There is a purpose why we were created. And we all have to fulfill that purpose. And we all have to, you know, and I believe the ultimate purpose for which we were created is for us to be able to serve 
God for us to be able to live a righteous life, for us to be able to live a life that when we are called to give account of all how we have lived our life, will be among those who we make the kingdom, who we inherit the kingdom of God, will be among those who we be in the kingdom of God, not those who be cast to the lake of fire. I believe this message is also peculiar to even the Christians, because I'm a Christian, because I believe God in question is the one that created every one of us, and there's a purpose to which we were created, and there is a purpose to which we were created, just like I've said, and it's expected of us to live a righteous life, to live a faithful life, it's expected of us to, you know, live a righteous life. And I believe the sole purpose for which we were created is for us to be able to serve God faithfully. And, you know, there, just like we have heard in this video, there is more to life. Life is not just about, you know, drinking. It's not just about getting yourself dressed up, getting yourself make up. It's not about emancipating a lot of wealth for yourself, buying cars buying houses there is more to life there is more to life and i think the earlier we start seeing that there is more to life the better for us because there's going to be come there's going to come a time where we all will be asked to give account of how we have lived our life and i believe there is no need even though i'm not a muslim there is no need for us to hate one another. There's no need for the Christian to hate the Muslim. There's no need for the Muslim to hate the Christian because I believe the message that is peculiar to both Christianity and Islam is the message of love, is the message of peace, is the message of forgiveness. Instead of us hating one another, I believe we should rather learn from one another. The Christian should be ready to learn from the Muslim. The Muslim should be ready to learn from the Christian so we can make better decisions. So I would like to hear your comments. What do you like about this about this reaction? What do you like about the video titled titled The Meaning of Life? Muslim Spoken West. And what can you also contribute to this? Don't forget Click on the subscribe button. Click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Love you. Bye.